They're all green. Can I see the points right above us? Oh, yeah. They're trying to turn yellow now. Folks, they are absolutely delicious. As I move forward, Alfred says, look to my left-hand side now. Look towards the skyline. Look at the centerpiece, 1068, the Tower of the Americas. It stands 622 feet of the rooftop, 750 feet of the antenna. It is the second tallest free-standing structure in the United States, next to the Stratosphere in Vegas. At the base of the Tower of the Americas, a 4D film called Eyes of Texas, at the top, an observation deck, a restaurant, it offers a panoramic view of the entire city of San Antonio. Your boat captain, Alfred, witnessed this development as a child in 68. So Alfred, the question, what language was spoken early San Antonio, early 19th century, other than El Spanol or English? And you know the answer. French. What city? Thanks, Vinny. It was the German language. Give a nice young lady a scholarship. On that note, look to my upper right corner now. Right above the train, right across the street, we have our first German Catholic church established in 1868, right smack in the middle of our cinema. We have five prominent Germans every fourth of the month. What did the German community give the mixed industry? They gave us the accordion. So what does Alfred recommend you do before you go back home around the world? Hey guys, march over to Market Square. Buy yourself a good old-fashioned Mexican CD of accordion music. Cook a fantastic Mexican meal. Let my friends, let my friends from Seattle. Huh? My Seattle friends from Seattle. They can cruise storm and I can cook anything inside a microwave. <laughs> what would you do if you were to accidentally find yourself inside this magnificent river, huh? Look, folks, look. I've been trying by NASA. By NASA. <laughs> and you fall in. You have no choice. Watch. By NASA. Do this. Just stand up. <laughs> <laughs> it's no more than five feet deep. If you're not a five-footer, I'm a line center. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. I'll be your line center. I would not let you down. So you just relax. You just relax. I'll take care of her. Alpha says, Alpha says, look behind me now. Look behind me. Look over these broad shoulders. I've been working out. You can tell. Look at this orange sculpture behind me on street level. A gift from Mexico. 65 feet in height, 45 tons, designed by Sebastian Cabajal from Mexico. Guess what? Guess what? It was free. Free. You know why? We had a coupon. I was asked earlier about this building here. Here we have my Hilton Palacio Hotel. It's in the Guinness Book of World Records as the fastest modular concrete building made worldwide in records time 202 working days. Your boat captain Alfred witnessed this Bibella child in 68. The ribs were assembled eight miles south of brought on flatbeds, cranes were ready, lift other rooms, and in certain building. They had everything on the go. Shower, shower curtain, shampoo, even the towels you take home for souvenirs. We're taking inventory. You guys had a good time, guys? Yeah. You guys enjoy yourself? All right. In front, folks, look at the sign that brings the little Ryan Steakhouse and the big tree restaurants, part of our German communities built in the 1850s, 
and insists on a land grant from the King of Spain, 1817. Our next door neighbor, here we have the Arneson River Theater. Above the Arneson, we have La Villita. La Villita means the little village. A lot of shopping folks. Here, in where Santana places cannons, the bomb for the Alamo. We're going to talk more about the Alamo as we go along. In front, look at our pedestrian bridge in honor of Rosita Fernandez, performed on the stage for 26 years, known as Fiesta Noche de Rio, which means party on the river. On my right side here, they got to find mission bells. They honor the father of the rural one, Robert H. Huckman. Who can tell me what Halloween was spelled on a station? Ladies, I give you a hint. A beauty contest. Check connections with the F. They are. Oh, Thank you. They found the movie, Miss Congeniality. Do you know why she knows his answer? Because here she is, Miss Congeniality. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sweetie, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. You never know, right? You never know. You changed your name to Sandra Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> We have waterfalls here, and behind the waterfalls, we have our Briscoe Western Art Museum. And all the way going to the Briscoe, inside a story of Santana and a salvation of the Pancho Villa. My buddy Joe's here, did a great job for our, our company. Give her a round of applause, please, right? Oh, what do we have here, folks? We have a bucket a Mexican cowboy, a buckaroo. Did you know that during the American Revolution, the Continental Congress sent a single mission to Spain, Vienna? Well, it's in Spain, we are in the midst of a revolution. Spain, we cannot fight a war without food. They contracted San Antonio, Texas, to go to Texas, to gather up 7,000 cattle to beat the entire American continent army under the ship of Bernardo de Galvez, William Battalion's daughter in Galveston, Texas. He led 9,000 troops from Spain, Louisiana, Mexico, Cuba, Spain, to drive the British of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. Thank you, Bernardo de Galvez, for showing the country. How about yeah. Get your cameras ready in front we have Bristol Street Bridge, happens to be an iron Rosetta Gate Bridge built in the 1890s. And look at old oh, glory, guys, old oh, glory. Can make you proud to be an American, right, guys? Stars and stripes over our country flag. Now, you might have a son, daughter, mom, dad, brother, sister, boyfriend, girlfriend. Please bring it up, folks. Freedom is like a freaking Oh, glory. Thank you. Picture our American history. June 13, 1691, our Spanish explorers were exploring the river. They fell upon the peace of St. Anthony, which is why we named the river San Antonio, and then we named our commanders. They commemorate the 300th anniversary of our French Spanish counter held on June 13, 1691, with design to this double iron score inside and rest upon damage island. They claim. And if you get married with your Prince Charming on Marriage Island, you will live here happily ever after. This is true, why? And my best friend, my very best friend, has been married here three times. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He had a credit card. <laughs> and front folks, the Buster Bridge. And I don't say Antonio Navarro. Okay, give me that New Yorker number. Thank you. One of the signers of the Texas Declaration of Independence from Uncle Francisco Luis and Lorenzo de Zavala. Here is where Teddy Roosevelt reflects, uses the word Exeter practice for the Spanish War. Used to be a mill here, also known as Dapnus Mill, used to grind grain for our settlers. Look all the way straight now. 
You see the red building in front? The red bean high dome? That's our courthouse. That is the oldest operating courthouse, Green State of Texas, 1896. Take a lot of pictures, folks. A lot of pictures of me. In front of St. Mary Street, go to the right of it. We have the homeless streets, uh, utilized until 1919. 19th is rain, San Antonio Drug Company. Excellent example, adaptive style in San Antonio. On my left hand side now, look at the landmark of San Antonio Tower Life Building, going next to the album. Tower Life Building, grand opening, was June 1st, 1929, <laughs> at a new total. $3 million on my name and Grand opening, again June 1st, 1929. At a cost of $3 million. They lost the entire building due to the Great Depression and resold for no more, are you ready for this? $300,000. What a steal. Can you go to the very top? Look at the gargoyles that are sticking out, used as water spouts, so water connects the building. Return to the first point out. Note the grotesque figures, which makes this building a neo-gothic grotesque place here to scare away your spirits. Happy Halloween, guys. As I mentioned, folks, you're both Captain Alfred, born and raised in San Antonio, and I want you folks to enjoy my hometown. Here's what I would recommend. After this tour, if you have time, you want to take St. Mary Street, go four blocks south here, visit the King William area, a must-see in San Antonio, our 19th century Victorian community, four miles south, all the missions are free. Concepcion, San Jose, San Juan, Capistrano, Espada, and downtown, the famous Alamo. If you have time, go to the country house, we do not support any restaurants, but supporting here is rich architecture, the country house. On my right hand side here, international building is called such to the North American Free Trade Agreement, was signed in San Antonio by heads of states in Mexico, Canada, and the good of USA. Now for Seth, can you look behind me now? Return to my tower light building. Gates on 6 floor. You will note that the 6 floor is in the shape of a bow of a ship. A bow. See, San Antonio is a nostalgic community. You go back in time. That's what makes it so unique in San Antonio. A bow. What's the $3 million building used for now? Many offices, like attorney's offices. Yes, sir. You know, folks, we got my friends here from Australia, right? They come to visit us. I say, you next year on the road, you go to Australia, right, guys? Yeah! <laughs> Thank you for joining San Antonio. Stay away from Perth. Just kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Stay on the, uh, the, the side of Australia. <laughs> okay. West side's all sad and uh, whatever. Hi right, guys, how you doing? Now look to my left hand side now and look way at the end. We have our floodgates. Approximately 45 feet wide and 15 feet deep. In case of a major rainfall, water will flow north to south, exit the floodgates behind us. The gate right now, where we're just gonna draw a bridge, protect the horseshoe band. As I mentioned earlier, we almost lost the entire river due to a major catastrophe of the flood of 21. Thanks to two ladies by the name of Emily Edwards, Rena Mabry Green, Ward Progress Administration, late President Franklin Roosevelt, architect Robert H. Hugman. The uh, original one cost no more than $430,000. You can imagine what it costs to the rain. Our San Antonio River against four miles north of us out of a Carnegie University. It comes out of spring waters supported by vast 
on the ground one leg. He was pushing 130 miles south all the way to the Wild River right above the Gulf of Mexico. On my right hand side here, we have a wall. <laughs> I like this wall, guys. On my right hand side here, uh, we, we have the sidewalk here, uh, sponsored by the Drury Plaza Hotel and No Cost City San Antonio. I recommend walk inside the hotel lobby, reminiscent of the Roaring Twenties. Alpha says, get your cameras ready. Look on my left hand side here. Here we have Main Plaza, established in 1731 by the Canary Island of Spain. Beyond Staircase, historical, beautiful, San Fernando Cathedral, a uh, complete little tiny church in 1755. The bell tower, the last one, were added on in the early 20th century. Now, tomorrow night, if you come here tomorrow night, we're turning here at 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m., 10 p.m. Why? We're going to have a free video show because the entire background of San Fernando. It's a must-see in our community tomorrow night. If you all have time, you have time tomorrow, go two miles of the river, the San Antonio Museum of Art will be free. Now, let's go back in time. Yes, sir. How deep is the San Antonio? Majority is no more than five feet deep. But this section here being this man-made is 15 feet deep here. Okay, it's our butt channels, our butt channels. Great work of engineering, right? Does it tie into the Colorado River anyway? No, it ties into the Gulf River. The okay. so are going further south. Okay. We have some great birds here in San Texas, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're here for one reason and one reason only. Something happened here back some time ago, right? On February 23rd, right here, folks, 836, February 23rd, here at West Santana, raise a flag. As a warning, I take no prisoners. But the Alamo, what did they do? They raised a Mexican flag with a date inscribed 1824, and they fired a cannon in response. On March 6, 1836, around 4 o'clock in the morning, Santana gave the orders to his trumpeter, Jose Maria Gonzalez, play that song, They're Gonna Die. On March 6, 1836, early dawn, we had 14 women and children inside the battle. A little eight-year-old boy by the name Enrique Esparza was looking for his father, and found his father had been killed by a man in the cannons at the Alamo. Escort by his uncle. Well, who was his uncle? His uncle was a soldier out of Santana himself. Therefore, a soldier and a Santana, I would like to give my brother, Enrique Esparza, a Christian burial. We believe we cannot substance that the ashes are the hair of the album and right behind our car at San Fernando Cathedral. That's half the story, guys. Santa, after the battle, left behind in San Antonio 1,000 troops. He took with him 3,000 troops. When he arrived in Houston, Texas area, San Francisco, he did one thing. He took a siesta. He fell asleep. When he found out his whole arm was asleep, they attacked, they captured him. That's only half the story, and half didn't happen. Guess what happened after that? The soldiers heard he had been surrounded. They thought he had been executed. So they didn't know what to do. They kind of talked among themselves, and said, well, let's retreat. They found he was alive. His army was still alive. They went to the, the tanks said, we got your man. Now get out of here. Well, guess what happened? 3,000 men are ready to revenge his capture. What did they do? They went back to Mexico. They did not put up a fight. No fight was taken to recapture the Battle of San Jacinto. That's why we're the great state of Texas. Pure luck. You talk about a mistake, <laughs> with all respects, guys, that is pure luck, guys. Santana was like, not a good general. He depended on numbers. He kept winning and winning on sheer numbers. That was it. 
He's on the jump when all the bells for him. Now look on modern center. Uh, look, go to the right of the lamppost. Look at this twin trunk sacrifice tree, which happens to be over 300 years old. Folks, in 1805, sorry, in 1805, we had a sniper on the street. This sniper is believed to kill anyone with brain horse water back here. I mean, we'll kill a horse here for bulk for water. With that in mind, please do not forget our native technical of the Alamo. Juan Abelino, Bombadillo, Dragonic Sparza, Fuentes, Nava, La Soya, Guerrero, Jimenez, Carlos S. Balier, Foucault, Perry, King, Women, and Children. That is insane, guys, right? How about that? The gate above me here will take 15 minutes an hour and it weighs three tons. How about that? From the American Revolution to the Texas Revolution. How about Again, the gate will take 15 minutes an hour and it weighs three tons. Alpha says, get your cameras ready. Alpha says, look on my right hand side here. Here we have Bella Restaurant. Like Cha Bella. Look very carefully. Most trees are exiting the building. If you're not to walk inside the restaurant, you will not be able to know the tree trunk. Why? Because the fraud of them right by the trees at X building and it speaks to us. And it says San Antonio on Chick Lat the King. Well folks, from the missions to the Alamo, the very walk, this is San Antonio. Damas y Caballeros, Monsieur and Madonna and gentlemen, we come to the end of our rainbow. It's been my distinct pleasure having all my folks on board. Please may see it as I secure and present it. Please do not forget your personal belongings, persons, your cameras, or your scent if you know But our respects for our job. Well then, our boat captain do appreciate your tips. Have a safe trip once again for our job well done. Goodbye, folks. I bid you farewell. Well, the river itself, we're on here, is natural. This is a natural river right here. The river walk, of course, was added between 1938 and 1940. Behind me, our flood channels, of course, that's man-made as well. The mall area, when we sight the mall, that's man-made, okay? Some parts have been made more straightened. We used to meander a lot and create a lot of plenty, so they have to straighten out a bit. But you're on a natural river here. Does that answer your question? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's natural. Thank you. You're welcome, sir.